In Odyssey 2.0, we've added a way for you to create call and response melodies. We'll show you how to compose a melody that everyone can remember. Call and response is a secret formula that's used in thousands of hit songs. Let's take a look at Queen's Under Pressure. The call is the famous bass riff, which is followed by the two note response. This call and response is so iconic and is a great example of how good call and response writing can create memorable hits. Let's look at an example of call and response in a single melodic instrument, or in this example, a single voice. This is the bridge section of Phoenix on Fire by Alliance and Jack Massick. These three slow notes are the call, and the response is the stream of fast eighth notes. This example has a moment of silence between the call and response. A silence gap can help the listener distinguish between the calls and the responses within a melody that is played on a single instrument or sung by one singer. Under pressure didn't need this gap since the call and response parts are distinguishable by the change of sound. So since we're software designers, we made it possible for you to write your own call and response melodies in Odyssey 2.0. Let's make one now. I'm going to add a call and response melody on top of my chord progression. Let's take a look at what we have here. The first half of this two measure loop is our call part. The second half is our response. We can change the rhythm and pitch templates of each part separately. A good call and response melody is where each part is rhythmically and melodically different from each other. So let's experiment with combinations to see which one we like. The call and response parts are separated by a gap. The gap gives you an audible separation between the call and response. Odyssey gives you the ability to set your own gap length. You may also set gaps for the beginning and end of the melody. Sometimes having a melody start later or end earlier may help the melody feel right with your groove. Try experimenting with different links and find what works for your song. By default, the call and response melody covers a two bar phrase. Since our chord progression is a four bar loop, let's expand the melody to four bars long. Right now, the call part is one bar long and the response is three bars long. While you are free to experiment with varying call and response lengths, I'll go ahead and set them both to be even by dragging the call part to be two measures long. Let's hear what I have so far. This sounds really good so far. However, I have some ideas of changes I want to make to this melody to make it my own. To do this, I can highlight my melody and choose Edit the MIDI notes by hand. That sounds great now. Thanks to the new call and response feature, I now have an interesting and complex melody for my song. From here, I'll be able to finish writing the other parts to my song and export them all to my DAW to complete the production. The new melody writing tools in Odyssey 2.0 will help you create amazing hooks and hit melodies that are unique and catchy. If you haven't already, check out our new tutorial on our new melody generator. For more information about Odyssey, please visit odyssey.com.